This is some pros and cons of the state or the Commonwealth of Virginia. These are from my own research and my own opinions. Leave yours in the comments below. Cost of living is pretty high in Virginia, especially Nova or Northern Virginia. That is because of the proximity to DC and a lot of the higher paying jobs are gonna be up in Nova. So you're not gonna find rent prices for a one bedroom, anything lower than $2,000 a month. It goes on up from there. Home prices, you're not gonna find anything in Nova for under $300,000. It goes up into the millions. It really all depends on the area. Now the Southern portion of Virginia, Central and Western portion of Virginia, it really all depends, but you can find more affordable places over there. You really can, because I have. But you can find places that are under a thousand, and you can find homes that are under three hundred thousand. Really, all depends on where you're looking. But just do your due diligence because you don't want to land in a bad area like in the cities of Richmond or in the Hampton Roads area, like in Norfolk or anything like that because you can find some bad areas because they're cheap also traffic traffic is bad in virginia especially the northern part of the state or nova 95 to 495 in the beltway to 28 route 1 66 all those are going to be hell holes whenever you're trying to leave for in rush hour people trying to commute up to work in the morning in D.C. and the surrounding areas all the way to the nighttime when people are leaving. But you can also deal with that in the western and southern portions of the state, but it's not going to be as bad as Nova because the majority of people live in Nova and whenever it comes to places like the country places, you're going to deal with two lane roads like this and majority of the people that drive on those types of roads not all the time but a lot of them are going to drive slow like grandmas and grandpas so just watch out for it if you're not really ready for traffic try to stay away from the major highways in the state of virginia especially in nova now another good thing would be the four seasons Four Seasons in Virginia, a lot of people like the Four Seasons. And if you like it, then you're going to like it here. And it's true. Virginia is a mid-Atlantic state, or some people like to call it a southern state because of the Confederacy. But I consider it mid-Atlantic with whenever it comes to uh, the weather. So, yes, you get all four seasons. You get spring, summer, fall, and winter. But the thing is... Whenever it comes to winter, you don't get bitterly cold and snowstorms like crazy, like up north in Montana and New York. You don't get any of that. You get snow here and there, but it's not as crazy and it's not as cold. You don't get, you hardly ever get into below freezing temps. You usually only get in the 30s and 20s, sometimes the teens, but also winter can be really bipolar. You can have all four seasons in just one week. Sometimes you can be really cold in the daytime in the, or in the nighttime and into the early mornings. It would be 40s into the 30s. And then in the daytime, it could be 60. So Virginia can be bipolar in the winter. Now, spring and fall, it's pretty cool. Not that bad. But summer is when it gets really hot and humid. So got to be prepared to have AC going because it can be really hot and humid in the summertime and it can be pretty comparable to Florida because it stays in the 80s and 90s with the humidity and the heat index turning into the 90s and the hundreds so it can get pretty bad here and it's if you like that type of stuff then cool but if you don't just be prepared also a con would be state income tax and you also get personal property tax. I've done a video on personal property tax in the past and it's no joke in Virginia. State income tax takes 
a certain amount of money out of your check every week, every two weeks, or every month, depending on what's going on. So if you're not a fan of state income tax, you're not going to like it in Virginia. Also, personal property tax, a.k.a. car tax. That's another thing is that some states don't have it. And I did my research and Virginia is known to be one of the more expensive car tax states in the United States. And pretty much it's like four dollars and 20 cents or four dollars and 50 cents per hundred dollars assessed value on your car. So pretty much you'll get a bill at the end of the year and you got to pay it. And it's for your car, a tax. And what happens is if you just say you got a 2024 uh, car, car or truck, and they will assess the value on that car or truck, and they'll send you a bill in the mail. The newer the car, the more money you're gonna pay. And my research was done, and you could pay into the thousands of dollars a year for a newer car or truck. Imagine getting a car or a truck, thinking that you're all good, and then all of a sudden you move to Virginia, and then at the end of the year you're paying three, two, three, four thousand dollars for that car or truck. Now, that's because of how new it is. But if you got an older vehicle, you could pay fifty, sixty dollars a year. It really, all depends on how old and how much the value is assessed on the car. So usually you're, it's going to be a better bet to get an older car. But if you can afford that few thousand dollar bill at the end of the year, get a new one. Because it really all depends. If you like going clubbing, um, bars, or even like going and getting alcohol, unlike some states... You can't just go to a like a gas station or a grocery store and just pick up a bottle of Bacardi. You can't do that here in Virginia. You have to go to a place called the ABC store. So if you ever are a drinker and you want to go get yourself a bottle of whatever it is that you like, then you're going to have to go to the ABC. And it varies upon location. Some places close around nine some places close earlier so you got to do due diligence and look up because that's a big if and when you can buy things also whenever it comes to alcohol itself yeah you can buy beer and wine in stores grocery stores gas stations but you can't buy them past 12 o'clock in the morning so if you want your bottle of wine or you want your beer, better go stock up during the day because once 12 o'clock hits, you're not going to get any beer or wine. So just got to look out for that. I don't know about other states because it really all depends on the state that you're in. But Virginia is weird like that. Also, clubs and bars. There's... A curfew so bars and whatnot close around two o'clock last call for getting alcohol would be one so it's not like a place that places here don't close at four or five six o'clock in the morning nope they close pretty early at two o'clock and they stop serving at one so just a little thing and I know this doesn't really apply to a lot of people but if you're into the adult stuff there's no full nudity here into in the state not at all it's all pasties and thongs just thought I'd mention that to the people that like that kind of stuff because it really all depends like I said there's a lot of pros and cons to the state let me know what you guys think below so I know there's others.